Uh, my name is Clayton Blood. I'm just an, a communications advisor to Blood Tribe Chief and Council. And my current project is to try and establish a uh, wireless high-speed internet uh, service here on the Blood Reserve. Um, we're calling it Blood Tribe Wireless. And uh, the project is uh, trying to establish an infrastructure that covers the entire community. And um, if you can uh, understand that the Blood Tribe or the Blood Reserve is the largest Indian reserve in Canada, it covers uh, uh, 300,000 acres of land that stretch from the foothills of the Rocky Mountains near Waterton Lakes National Park all the way just outside of uh, Lethbridge, Alberta. And the terrain that's there is very vast. It's, all, it's in the foothills. Um, that's very high territory. And then we go into some of the prairies. Uh, as we go through that uh, transition, we encounter a lot of deep uh, areas where there's high hills and low valleys. And some of the people of the Blood uh, Tribe have uh, chosen to live in the valleys. So that makes uh, it uh, kind of challenging to try and provide high-speed internet service to these people because um, high-speed wireless uh, is uh, designed to be line of sight. That means if you can see the tower within a certain radius, you'll be able to uh, get the service. But if you're living down in the valley, sometimes it's a, a chance that you might get the signal. But what we're looking at is technology that will provide us with maybe uh, small repeaters or uh, microsystems, as we call them, that will be able to uh, address those residents that live in lower-lying uh, areas. For even coverage. Yes, for even coverage. Uh, our biggest concern right now is that uh, we have approximately 1,400 to 1,700 homes in the community. And uh, most of these homes have uh, young children. And uh, they're... Um, the education department is very concerned that they would like these children to have all the tools at their disposal for uh, research or of, of their studies or just to uh, sort of practice and even on the odd day when there's a snow day and they can't go to school that they may be able to pick up their uh, lessons for the day by going on online. So these are the kind of things that we hope will get these students um, with their marks, uh, you know, uh, being able to compete with the uh, surrounding communities that all have uh, high-speed internet. Uh, some of our existing homes have uh, dial-up, and <laughs> apparently that is terrible. It's, it's forever, it takes forever, and so people just give up and they don't want to even try that. So uh, we have um, several providers, wireless providers uh, from off the reserve, and in communities that surround our area. But um, really, they don't provide anything to the community other than taking the, the money from us. And uh, what we would like to do is establish uh, an economy in the, our community so that people in our community are doing the installations, they're doing the billings, and we're trying to circulate the, uh, the money that is paid. To. We want to own and maintain the network. We want to own and maintain the, um, the infrastructure. Part of the difficulty is building the infrastructure because of the vast size of the reserve and the terrain that's there. Um, people are coming uh, from outside the reserve and they're offering services to our members, um, but they're not building anything in our community. So what we're hoping that we can do is build the infrastructure with uh, at least five to seven towers that will cover the entire community. And so we're looking at the latest technology uh, part of it is that we need to kind of build our capacity, we need to train our people uh, not only to install the uh, satellite dishes, or I mean the uh, wireless dishes and modems, but uh, we also need to have a call center where people can uh, call and they can troubleshoot over, over the phone and be able to try and get people back on uh, back online as, as soon as possible. Rather than sending a technician or, you know, we can uh, try and do the troubleshooting that way. Uh, our problem is that um, uh, many of the people that currently have outside uh, service complain that people take too long to come in and get them back online. It takes them days and we're hoping that our target is going to be within hours that we're able to get people back online. Um, so we need to train our people. We know there's quite a few IT people in various departments of our administration, but we'd like them to um, look at uh, maybe upgrading their skills into some of the programming that comes with uh, Wi-Fi. And uh, we hope that they can probably even get into the point of maybe trying uh, the latest technology that's there or even 
maybe some uh, research and development in some of their own programming that's going to meet the needs of the blood tribe.